Hi, this is John Gazer with Rock and Roll Laboratory. Today we're going to talk about correctly and accurately using a peak stick to assess a first cutting of alfalfa here in the springtime. You see in my hand I have both a one square foot dimension uh, set of rulers together that we're going to use to, to find a representative spot in the field. And then I also have our peak stick which has four different sides to it. One side uh, very similar to a yardstick with inches 0 to 36 and then three other sides that correspond to relative forage quality ratings at bloom, bud, and vegetative stage which we'll talk about in a minute. The first step in correctly and accurately determining the relative feed value or relative forage quality of your alfalfa stand is to find a representative spot within a field. We're going to do that with our one square foot. You can see I nonchalantly tossed that out and it's now covering some stems so we're going to walk over to that and work that down to the ground now. Now that I've thrown our one square foot we're going to work it down to the ground and so when we toss these squares out in the field in some cases the, it'll catch some stems sideways we want to make sure that the square foot has all of the stems when worked to the ground within it pulled on, on the inside and if there are any from the outside of the square foot caught underneath we'll make sure to separate those out. The reason we're doing this is we don't want to misrepresent the stand. We don't want to search for the tallest stem in say a 15 to 50 square foot area. Rather we just want to work with this single square foot and that's how the peak was developed and validated. So now that I've worked it to the ground we've got a very healthy stand here with probably 50 to 55 stems in this square foot. I'm going to do two things. Identify two parameters that correspond to then our peak measurement. I'm going to one look at the physiological state to the stand Looks like we're in vegetative state today. The three options are vegetative, bud, and bloom stage. And then I'm also going to find the tallest stem within that square foot, and I'm going to measure that against our stick here. So I found the tallest stem in the square foot, the representative area. And I'm going to stretch that out now against the inches side of our peak stick, and ensuring that the peak stick is on the ground, match the stem up against the side, I'm going to read the very tip of the stem, not the leaves, just the tip. I recommend cutting alfalfa at a peak height of between 25 and 19 inches, or 19 and 25 inches, and that corresponds to roughly 185 to 215 relative feed value. The reason that I recommend cutting alfalfa at those heights is that through harvest losses, leaf loss, and through fermentation, we lose approximately 10 to 15 units of relative forage quality and so if we harvest at 185 relative feed value then we would have a resulting 160 relative forage quality or relative feed value uh, in the silo. So I've just made in the last two minutes just one peak stick measure. I'm going to recommend for every 10 acres of alfalfa field to make a peak stick measure. So in this field for example we have 40 acres. We're going to want to have at least four peak stick measurements to represent this field accurately, uh, if not five or six. We're working with a pure alfalfa stand today. If there's grass in the alfalfa, the peak won't necessarily be accurate, and I'd recommend scissor clipping. Often the question comes as well, okay, now today we have 225 relative feed value here standing in the field. When should we cut? And so we've just talked about how we will expect to lose 10 to 15 units of relative feed value through harvest. So if we would harvest today, we would have 210 relative forage quality in the silo. That's probably a little bit too high quality. We could probably gain a little bit more yield. And so understanding that we lose roughly five points of relative forage quality each day, we can probably cut this field in three days because uh, the difference between 225 and 210, which would be the higher end of where I'd recommend 15 divided by 5 would be 3 days. 